Hello everyone, I'm Tintin. Today I'm going to introduce Stockholm, Learning Delay Aware Communication for Multi-Agent Reinforcement Learning on behalf of my co-authors. It's well known that multi-agent systems are prevalent, which exist in many domains, such as human teams, market, economies, transport, software systems, communication networks, and robot-centric teams. Given agents has limited capacity, such as observation range, agents are motivated to cooperate with each other to achieve more complex tasks. Here we use autonomous driving as an example. Vehicles cannot avoid collision due to the blind point, which caused by the uh, uh, limited observation range. However, if communication exists, agents can share observation and avoid collision. So, communication is supposed to improve multi-agent cooperation. However, let's think deeper. Communication is not achieved out of thin air. Agents' communication is achieved via weird, wireless, or hybrid communication channels. No matter in which way, they have similar features, such as agents share the limited resources, like bandwidth and bitrates. Next, agents' communication capacity, such as the big treat, are heterogeneous among the agents and varies over time. For example, the vehicle's big treat will decrease with the distance between the base station. Less communication has overheads. For example, when packaged from the source and to the target vehicles, they need to pass how by how routing. Then the delays, including the queuing delays, can't be ignored. Then what's the efforts on communication aware cooperation? State of ours mostly focus on learn to communicate efficiently, which including two experts. First one is how to communicate. The agents need to learn how to encoding observation into messages which can save bandwidth. And secondly, given multi messages can be accept, uh, received by agents, and also need to learn how to aggregate them. And secondly, uh, agents need to learn when and who to communicate given the fixed bandwidth limitation. Then the agent need to filter important message out to sharing. So what's the missing here? First one. The state of networking is ignored, which they only consider the network limitation is fixed and static. However, given we have analysis before, the capacity is heterogeneous among the agents also vary over time. Secondly, the cost and overheads of communication, especially the delays, has been ignored. So, until that time, uh, we don't know how the delays will impact the cooperation. To figure out these two missing point matters for agents cooperation or not, we do some analysis. From the observation, we find that ignoring states and cost of communication decreased again. Here's the results. The blue dash one is the learning without cooperation or communication. And the others are the cooperation with communication, but ignore the network states and overheads. We can see that from the delay increasing, their performance will greatly drop, and even worse than the non-cooperation cases. And for different delays, the performance will be different. We analyze the reason behind using the ball movement can see the, the green ball want to move to cover the target um, given the current direction V and um, action A. However, if there's communication delays, it will increase action delay. Then the ball will keep the previous direction and speed for some time and then make actions. Obviously, there will be a gap between the expect points and the true points. 
Then the gap will also decrease the reward because, in, because the missing point. So the change here is how to adapt to various or uh, variable communication network states. Given the previous observation, here maybe we can have another idea how about set a static timer to avoid endless or meaningless waiting. Then from the result we find it, yeah, it's obviously can avoid decrease, especially for the environment with high delays. However, at the same time, it also limited the performance. Here is obvious for the uh, lower delay scenarios. So we give the conclusion that the static waiting time is not good, especially for all the cases of variable environment. Then the challenge too is how to schedule waiting time for the communication. Consider the networking is changing very time. Given two previous observation and analysis, we give the basic idea and aims of our .com. The first change is how to adapt to various and variable communication environments. Then we can take network states into learning. And second one is how to schedule waiting time for communication. Our idea is we can actively set the waiting time for communication by learning. So the aim will be how to trade off between the benefits and the cost of communication due to the waiting time for messages. To achieve the mission goals, we firstly give the definition of delay aware modeling, which extended the traditional MDP. We call it DACOM MDP. And firstly, we add the network states into the state space and Next, we add action delays into the function, into the definition. And the reward function, transition probability function will change accordingly by adding the action delays. The observation here, we basically defined it as a network delays between the uh, uh, agents. Here we give a basic example. We also analyze the loss caused by ignoring communication delays by derivation. Here's the function that the loss is related to three parts. The first one is the gains of message sharing. And the second one is the packet or message loss rate. And here is the delay in the communication latency. And D here is the waiting time of agent. And the other part is the cost of delays, which is related to the delay sensitivity. It's a feature of the task. Here we estimate uh, action delays to the waiting time, and here we ignore the other part of delays, such as the processing of neural network, because compared with communication delays, it can be ignored. The next text is how to set the waiting time adaptively. According to the analysis over the laws, we found it is actually a trade-off between the gains on the cost of communication. And in the following, we will use case study to illustrate that. Here is the pre-predator game that multi-predators multi want to cooperate to catch the prey and the predators working as agents here. The shadow part show here is the observation range. We can see from this case, all the agents have the global observation, which including the prey locations and the other predators locations, which means sharing message among them has meaningless, is meaningless and has almost no gains which means the way H is approached to zero is no gains. Uh, in this case, all the predators will be preferred to set the waiting time to be zero to decrease the cost of the communication. In another cases, is, uh, 
Although our, not all the predators can see the global view, they can only see the important position, uh, information that is the pre-location. That is enough for the predator to make the right direction. So the communication is now zero, uh, gains is now zero, but approach to zero. So in this case, the agent, the, uh, which is the predators, maybe prefer to set the delays to near to zero. Okay, the next case is only the predator two have uh, almost all the observation, and the predator one and three they don't have important method, uh, information, especially the prelocation. In this way, predator two from the view of predator one, it will be preferred to get important message from the predator two, and which means the gains will obviously high, and um, set the delays approach to the time, uh, waiting time to approach to the delays between the predator one and two. And the last case is, is that uh, both predator one, uh, two, and three had uh, pre locations. However, um, then the predator one will trade off between the gains because the predator three don't have four wheels like other positions, but predator two has. And then it will trade off between the latency here. It might be preferred to get m important message only from predator three, given that it has lower latency. So it's quite a trade-off between the gains, information, important information, or all the informations with the cost of delays, like for millisecond, how, how bad it is, or 10 milliseconds, the cost. Here we give conclusion that the factors impact the setting of waiting time is the observation of the environment, like for partial or very limited, and also the observation of delays, like here, no matter how it will pick up this one to get the information or trade off between which one is lower, like that. We we'll give the architecture of .com here. First, we take the observation on networking into consideration and design the timeline, which is a new component, can decide how long the agent can wait for the messages from other agent. Then set a timer. And here also we design a buffer, which can store the last uh, time of messages here. Then the messages uh, from other agents pass by the channels to arrive to the agent. And if it arrived before the timeout, it can go to the messages. And otherwise, it will be stored in the buffer and used in the next time step. Next, the messages do the aggregation and then go to make actions, like movement of the boards. Here, we extended the, the action space because the um, the timeline also make decision or can be viewed as an uh, action on the timer. So we extended the action space to include the uh, waiting time. Then the queue function also uh, exchange, uh, changed according to that. We verified the performance of .com in three games, that is particular games, traffic control, and StarCraft II. We don't update the reward function. However, the communication delay impacts the rewards. For the movement of the balls, we analyzed this before that there's a gap which will uh, reduce the reward. And for autonomous driving, also the action delays makes the response delay, which will reduce the uh, arrive rate and also increase the collision. And for the StarCraft too, as more time um, in reaction, then the s either slowly movement or slowly fire, then the reward also decrease. From the experiments, we can see that uh, .com has better performance 
in the particular games and also for the traffic control with lower collision and higher arrive rate than the others. And for the StarCraft 2, it's more complex. For the first two, Dacom is better. However, the last two one is not that obviously. We analyze the reason. Because the last two games, the agents prefer to stand uh, closer, which means the reward, the delays is more less. Like that, more than 90% of the delays are lower than one, uh, one millisecond, uh, one minute step, which means that delays can be ignored. Then uh, we also analyzed our approach in different delays and we found it stable, more resilience to the delays. In this paper, we show that ignoring states and cost of communication result performance decreasement, which is obvious in delay sensitive tasks and high delay environment. Therefore, we propose DACOM, a delay aware communication model for multi agent reinforcement learning. It can learn to schedule how long to wait for messages from other agents and also can adapt to, to network states. A uh, limitation is that not all uh, .com is not for all the cases, especially for low delay environment or low latency sensitive task. And current version now supports variable observation range of agent, which will be our future work. Thank you for your attention.